I'm Ivan Suit and welcome to Jatai Academy on the web where we endeavor to provide you with quality education and information to help you build and grow your business in the hair and beauty business. Welcome to this week's episode of Jatai Academy. Today we're answering the question about when is it okay to cut hair dry versus wet? What's the difference between wet and dry hair cutting? What are the tools we use for wet and dry hair cutting? What is this wet and dry hair cutting thing all about? <clears throat> Great questions. I think we've got some really good answers. You know, there are gurus out there. There are hair cutting professionals, educators, and brands that specifically have a pretty big stake in the dry hair cutting marketplace. Like there's people who specialize in clipper cutting, military hair cutting. There's people who specialize in curly hair. There's also people who specialize in dry. I'm a big believer that in our industry, there's incredible opportunities to specialize. Dry hair cutting is one of those areas where I think you can offer specialty hair cutting services at premium prices. Now, one of the brands that has a lot going on in dry hair cutting is a friend of mine by the name of Mike Karg. You may see him at some shows, He's a great guy and he does some great dry hair cutting techniques and he's got some people on his team that share those as well. Mike makes a joke of it when you ask him the question, what's the difference between wet and dry hair cutting? Can anybody tell me what's the difference between wet and dry hair cutting? Water. That's the difference. He likes to make that point because on one level, a haircut's a haircut and a shape is a shape. That being said, the techniques vary and the circumstances are a little bit different. So here's my tips. Number one, we're talking about hair health. Slide cutting with scissors or razor cutting can be more aggressive on finer textures of hair when done dry. So I'm a big believer, slide cutting, even with good quality slide cutting shears, or razor cutting with a feather freestyle razor is best done with hydration, with moisture in the hair unless we're just detailing. If you're feathering in some bangs, if you're tweaking up a perimeter, if you're doing some light point cutting, I think dry hair cutting is a great way to go. But if you're doing what I call shape crafting, and that's my real example of when should we really be wet cutting, scissor or razor, when you are building an intricate shape, when you're working with sections and partings, you want clean sections, you want well-defined partings, you want uh, controlled distribution, you want to be able to control projection or elevation, and you want to be able to manage tension. Those are all circumstances that dictate wet cutting. And a product like Blade Glide from Jatai is a perfect product to support wet cutting activities. It helps maintain even and consistent hydration. It gives us clean sectioning. It gives us defined partings. It closes the cuticle, it seals the hair, it went wonderful slip and slide on the blade. It minimizes friction and damage on the hair, and it lengthens or extends blade life. Lots of great reasons to use Blade Glide in our wet haircuts, but when we're shape crafting, I'm a big believer in wet hair cutting. Traditional, Sassoon inspired type precision cutting, we're going to be doing that wet. Dry cutting, if you like to point cut, I think point cutting is better controlled with dry hair. Now there are people that are going to go in and blow it dry, then they're going to go in and flat iron and smooth it before they go in with some of these dry hair cutting techniques. The idea with dry hair cutting in many cases is you're going to cut it the way they wear it. You're going to cut it the way they live in it. You live with your hair dry, why wouldn't you cut your hair dry so that you can see the shape manifest itself in that fiber and in that fabric in the manner in which you're going to wear it. So there's some good information there, I think, to help you make some decisions about when and where we might wish to wet versus dry haircut. What are some of the tool choices in that dynamic? And of course, the recommendation of Blade Guide from Jatai. J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web. That's the Jatai website. Clipperguy.com. That's me. Happy to help any way we can. Look for us again with another video coming to you real soon. Thanks for watching and have a great day.